why, if Jesus could turn water into wine, did he not do other things that were more relevant? I mean, if you were the son of God and you had those powers, you wouldn't organize a piss up at your pal's wedding. You would stop people starving. Now, I know he did that thing on the mountain with the fish and the loaves of bread. But that was, he organized that meeting. It's the least he could do to lay on some catering. Sorry, I'm gonna fucking really annoy the Christians. My name is Hardeep Singh Kohli. I'm a writer, actor, director, presenter, model, actress, you know, whatever. Everyone I told of my impending journey reacted either with laughter or scorn. I've 10 days to find God through Scientology. Hadeep, fuck you. Thank you! See, the problem with you is you're stupid. I repeat the ultimate command. I've got you brainwashed, mate. There are really no secrets anymore. The world is going to see how deep has been brainwashed. There's not going to be another job for you ever again. How are they going to feel, man? You used the word brainwashing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One thing my parents taught me and instilled in me as a child was that and it's absolutely in, in the Sikh scriptures, is that there are many roads to God. The Scientology Road to Spiritual Enlightenment began mid-last century in America. It was invented by L. Ron Hubbard, the prolific science fiction writer living in 1950s California. It was initially dismissed by critics as harmless self-therapy, a pop philosophy for the atomic age. Scientologists believe that all people are spiritual beings called Thetans, who are held back from fulfilling their potential as humans by negative past experiences, trapped in their subconscious which prevent a person from achieving success. Scientology claims to have an answer for these troublesome memories in the form of a process called auditing. This is said to be a cross between counselling and confession, a process measured by an electronic machine called the E-meter. Little is known about this ritual outside of the church. The process claims to heal the mental scars accumulated over many lifetimes, allowing the participant to live in an enlightened state. This is how the church likes to be seen today, the glamorous face of Scientology. Let me be blunt. Scientology does have answers. And where you have failed, it's only because you lack the tools to effectively accomplish what you desire. Why are some of the most visible people on the planet publicly singing its praises when the church is awash with accusations of cultism, brainwashing and silent births? Will I come back a brainwashed comedian? Or will I find a religion that can deliver on its promise and unite the planet with its spiritual tool set for all? To be honest, the thing that I'm most worried about is being brainwashed and so is my wife. We asked the church to take part in this film. They said, to make it perfectly clear, it is a curious choice to select a comedian who does not believe in organized religion as your presenter. It is offensive. Offensive. But at least Los Angeles in America have recognized that I'm a comedian. This and other restrictions imposed on the film meant we could not explore my spiritual path through the Church of Scientology. Luckily, I'd learned that the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard are taught outside the church. It only took this religion 30 years to reach its reformation. My path is with the free zone, the Protestants of Scientology. The Church of Scientology treats the free zoners as dangerous heretics. They're not even allowed to call themselves Scientologists. Contact with them has always been difficult. My first meeting was via video link with LA. Roland is a leading figure in the free zone and former member of the church. What happened in the church during the late 70s? Uh, the church was a pretty dynamic organization. There was a sudden change in about 1982. The current management of the church took over and ousted a pretty fair number of the then senior people. Uh, these people, on leaving the church, attempted to set up their own organizations, essentially delivering the same stuff as the church does, 
but outside of the church's orbit. The internet has meant a flourishing of the so-called free zone, that is to say the people outside of the church who are still active Scientologists and actively uh, promoting and applying the uh, so-called technology. Roland did some advice for me regarding my auditing session, a never-before-seen cleansing ritual and the key to enlightenment through Scientology. What should I do on my journey? Just do it wholeheartedly, all the way. There are things about yourself that you do not wish to confront. Things that you've done that you don't want to admit to, things, weaknesses of yours that are ignominious that you would not care to mention. When you go into session, eventually, you will have to confront all of those things. Hard to do, there are many layers of it, it takes a while to do. It's not easy, but it is worth doing. As long as it's done with an auditor who will not take advantage of you. Fuck, I hope I don't get fucked up doing this film, man. Aren't you worried? <coughs> no, you're not fucking worried. You don't have to do it, do you? Now I'm worried, very worried. Although I'm not quite sure what I'm worried about. In order to fully prepare myself for auditing, I need to find a guide and a mentor. It was with some anxiety that I travelled to St Hill. Just outside of East Grinstead, it's the spiritual home of L. Ron Hubbard and the church's base in the UK. I'm here to meet Dominic, the church's highest ranking defector in over a decade. How yeah. do you feel when you look at it, a place you used to, used to call home? Yeah, it's a beautiful place. That's you really can't go there anymore, can you? Yeah, I understand. It's not... Hey, c'est la vie, man. That's life. Fearful of how the church will react to his participation, Dominic insisted on meeting away from his home. They're great people, and they really believe in what they're doing. But it's very, you know, there's people that decide over your fate. And if you don't do what you're supposed to be doing, then you're in real deep trouble. Since leaving the church, Dom has joined a European network of free zoners who live by and practice Scientology. A group of the people that left formed a thing called the Ronsorg because Al Ron Hubbard, by his friends known as Ron, so they started the Ronsorg. Ronsorg says we only apply the technology of Al Ron Hubbard. In this case, you have Ronsorg, Church of Scientology, and then you have the free zone as a broad thing. So Ronsorg isn't one organization, it's lots of little organizations. Yeah, lots of them. Is it hundreds of thousands, millions? No, 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 it's, no, no, it's not that big at all. 10, 15, 20 staff uh, that basically form an organization. The organization is growing in Europe, but thrives in places like Russia, which are beyond the reach of the church's lawyers. We're going to be traveling around, and you'll get a good idea. Dominic has bravely agreed to be my guide and mentor. What, what would you suggest I do next? You want to find out what Scientology is all about. You should take, read a book, take a course. Good beginning course would be like HQS, which is, stands for Hubbard Qualified Scientologist course. Do one of those. Um, read the Dianetics book, read like Fundamentals of Thought or something like that. Tell me about the bridge. All right. Well, if you put it like this, yeah, if you say you want to get to a higher state of existence and you consider where you're right now is at a lower state of existence and you want to get to a higher state of existence, well, you've got to get there somehow. And uh, the concept is that if you don't go the right way, you'll end up in one hell of a chasm. So what you do is you walk a bridge. And Ron basically, Ron's writings tell you the way to go. The bridge is the most important concept in the teachings of Elrond Hubbard and is actually two parallel bridges. Taking part in one side helps you examine your subconscious. The other helps you with your waking life. The subconscious side is crossed by taking part in auditing. The practical side of the bridge is a series of qualifications aimed at making a person a better communicator. I've been rejected by the church, discovered the free zone and found a mentor who's willing to guide me through basic training. Now if I pass, he says he'll audit me. The training is in Moscow and I'll travel through four countries unearthing the free zone movement and studying along the way. You've got to bear in mind, I'm reading and learning about Scientology as I go along. I didn't 
study it all before we started this journey. And here's what I'm discovering. Two very interesting things. Scientology has no great mystery, no great questions of faith, no uh, reliance on you to simply believe. It, it, can, it seeks to prove everything it says. And also, people are very critical of it because it seems to be written in a very simple form. And I was critical of it too for being so kind of, you know, a bit like kind of, you know, philosophy, psychology for the stupid. But actually, if you think about it, it's incredibly inclusive. It ties in absolutely with that notion of there being no mysteries and no secrets. It's for people, any people, to pick up. Max. Max, hi. Nice hi. to meet you. I'm here to meet Max, head of the Swiss cell of Ron's Org. Max runs the training camp in Moscow. I want to sign up for one of the courses, but first I need to be vetted, not only by Max, but also by his students and family. To try to make a difference between the church and Scientology. Take these things apart. Like, Catholic, Catholicism doesn't necessarily mean the same thing like Christianity. Right? Are you happy not to be in the church anymore? Do you miss the church? <laughs> no. In the beginning I was thinking it's a philosophy. Sometimes I was really thinking it's some kind of psychology. I had a hard time to understand why is this called a religion? Also for me it's a philosophy and sure, this spiritual factor, you know, this, this uh, thing that you can improve yourself with it. You find answers. You find answers we have in life. We find knowingness and then we don't need to believe. You can use it because there is a wisdom and it's a truth in it. You cannot control people without truth or without making them believe it is yeah. the truth. I don't have to go and pray, I don't have to not eat this or eat that, I don't have to cut my hair or not cut my hair, I don't have to do anything different in my life at all, apart from the fact I have someone come to my house or come here and I do audition. That's the only ch and and my life is getting better and better and better by the week every, every time I do it. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm struggling to understand your Swiss accent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do, do you believe in God? <laughs> Not in, in, the, in the sense that there is a... Uh, a power outside me, a higher power outside me. No, I don't believe. Do you believe in God? Yes, but I have a special definition. I was always asking who is God, what, what is God, and uh, when I started in Scientology, I uh, found a definition in an only big dictionary. It uh, means uh, a spiritual being. Uh, an extraterrestrial spiritual being. And I said, Ew, that is okay for me. The absence of any consensus about God was refreshing, but what I really wanted to know about was auditing. As you hold the cans, an electrical current is passing through you. It's really, really, really light. You don't even feel it. When you get a question or a command, if there's a stress, the electricity has a resistance and it can't pass through your body as easily. And so it shows up on the auditor's meter. I'm none the wiser about auditing, but Max has agreed to host me and the cameras at his camp in Moscow. I've now got two days and 800 miles to get myself up to speed. OK, I've got to just spin back here for a minute. OK, Scientology expresses this briefly. The cycle of action is an apparency as follows. Create, then survive, then destroy. Yeah. OK? Elrond describes it as the actual cycle of action is as follows. Create, 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 mm -hmm. create, counter-create, no creation, nothingness. Okay. Discuss. What's not that much of this? I mean, I'm... Uh... I mean, I understand it. I'm just not quite sure what the point of it is. Yes. You come up with now that Now you enough. tell me how that's... I'm interested in your definition of the actual cycle of action in that. No, 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 that's not how it works, though. Okay. I mean, I think maybe I should just read some more and yeah. maybe things start slotting into place. I think so. I think... Uh... It's only chapter two. Um, uh, well, how about making a meal? Is that create? Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, no, that's good. That's not a bad example. Okay, meal. Right, so explain that to me. Right, okay. making the meals, creating it. Good. Eating it. It's surviving. And it's all gone. You're destroyed. You've destroyed the food. Once our train arrived in Munich, I had to put my Scientology book out of sight. The woman I was here to meet would explain why. Since 96, when you want an official job, you have to sign a paper where it's written on that you are not a Scientologist. Only Scientology? Only Scientology, not church. They don't care if you're any other religion, any other belief, whether you believe in God or don't believe in God. The only questions are about Scientology. Yes. Do you support, did you make some, do you work along the methods of Elron Harbour? These are very specific questions. You have to fill this for every yes. job you do. Yes, when, every when the job. yes when the when did you the tell display. did you tell your children you're a Scientologist? I don't use the word Scientology so much because I am afraid they go out and use the word Scientology in the wrong person. Some friends say no, I don't want to see you because you are dangerous. The Church of Scientology doesn't like you. Mm -hmm. The German authorities don't like you. Mm -hmm. Who likes you? Who supports you? Who helps you? They're the friends who know it. It would have been easier in your life to give up Scientology than to keep going. Yes, but then life would be more difficult. <laughs> Do you know, I've spoken to quite a few Scientologists in the last few days. They all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. They all say life is better, life yeah. becomes easier. Yeah. I also believe that some time will come where you can say and it's no problem. I believe this too. And when I'm one of these first thousand or five thousand people who go this way, I am, I am part of this. The first Christians also must hide and then it become a big religion. What is it about Scientology that repulses so many of us, yet compels some people to sacrifice their freedom for this knowledge? If there is an answer, it's either in the books I'm reading or it lies in a training camp deep behind the former Iron Curtain. Um, slightly impenetrable again. What you have to understand about the fundamentals of thought is that it's actually written in incredibly simple language. There's not really a difficult word in it. It's just quite bizarrely written like nothing else I've ever read before. An auditor processing a pre-clear would always use effect processes to increase doing this. What effect could you create on father? I don't actually know what that question means. What effect could you create on father? I mean, I understand all the individual words. I understand the nouns, the verbs and the prepositions. I just don't understand what the sentence means. When you start your course, um, you'll learn how to be a student in the beginning of the course. Now, right now, when you study this book, I think the only introduction on how to study is probably this important note in the beginning, which says, always get any word or phrase you do not fully understand defined. There Education. isn't a word in that book I don't understand. No, no, Test I Test me. Open it, any page. Got it. Open it, any page. Test me. I'm fucking there, man. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I, I totally, I'm totally tracking with you on that. What I'm saying is, this is the only yeah, data that you have gotten on how to study. There is so much more data on how to study. Is it better that I don't read this book? No, you're doing great. It's really not a problem okay. because you're throwing it up. We're, we're sorting it out. I'm, I'm quite happy uh, the way we're going, and uh, it's just really good. I mean, anyone can study a book, and if you get, if you get one fifth or one tenth that you go in the end of having finished that book going, oh, I see that, oh, yeah, you know, hey, that's one-tenth better than not getting one-tenth, isn't it? That's simple maths, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not struggling with that at all. Yeah, yeah well, it's true, if, it? You know, if you it's enjoyed that better. chat half as much as I did, then you enjoyed it twice as much, that, you know, I mean, it's, it's not even maths, it's arithmetic. Yeah, 
Look at the snow. Oh man, I love this. Look at this stuff. Unbelievable. Look at it. It's just great snow. Go skiing here, man. My Scientologist mentor playing like a five-year-old in the snow. Anything wrong with that? The fuck is he going to teach me about Elrond? Bastard. This conference is in a disused Soviet children's summer camp that has no signposts. I don't mean any sign, I mean no signposts. Clearly, they don't want anyone to know where they are, even us, and we're meant to be there. I'm getting scared now because we've only got enough food to last us a week and only enough vodka to last us an hour. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Three kisses. I remembered. <laughs> Very, good. Very good to see you. Very good to see you. We, we brought the snow with us. This is very good study. Okay. You are going to learn basic things about life. There will be some part about communication. There will be about emotions, then there will also be the basic parts of what you are. For example, being a Thetan, having a mind, having a body. A Thetan, this is you. This is just you, yourself, a spiritual being without body. Welcome to the world of L. Ron Hubbard. A week into my Scientology road trip, I've met a variety of people, talked a lot, read some books and understood little. I'm aiming to be audited in a week's time. This is day one of my actual training. I'm taking an unofficial Scientology course and I've only three days to learn as much as I can. Max and Dom think this course will help me understand auditing. <clears throat> I've talked about the bridge. Um, it's a very good explanation of it. As a span across the abyss of misery and degradation and sorrow to a higher plateau of ability and happiness. That makes sense. If one blindly accepts facts or truths just because he is told he must, facts and truths which do not seem true to one, or even false, the end result can be an unhappy one. That is the alley to the trash bin of incompetence. It's just mostly reading, actually, more than anything. Back to course. Yeah, I was... I know. But if he wants something from you, you should really come to me. Or if you want to ask him something, just so get you, in touch with me. You don't want me to talk to... No, no. Not while you're studying. Now you're a student. Okay. It's just like being back at school. I have to say, I do find some of this quite patronising. Maybe that's a problem with my own ego, I'm not sure. But um, some of it's like very straightforward and a sort of a bit pointless. After a few hours of intense reading, I had to write my first of many essays. Essays on life. Great. Absolutely wonderful. Do I get marks out of ten? No. But it's the best. Okay. Time for clay. The idea behind modelling clay is to give physical form to mental thoughts. Like everything in Scientology, it starts off easy. Rubber, what? Lead. A pencil. Hey! I've got loads to do. Every course, and there are over 30, is divided into tiers. Each tier is subdivided into reading and practicals, and I have to pass every one before moving on. Excellent. 
Thank you very much. Excellent, he said. Carry on. I will, after my break. He writes stuff like, you know, it's the truth, pursue the truth. You know, my, uh, my system, he says, is not the best system, uh, but it's a workable system. And he also says, you have to find your own truth. And it's exactly what Dominic was doing on the train, not telling me his truth, find your own truth. Hey. Hello. hello, hello. Oh, my dear. How are you? How are you? Are you well? It's very pleasure to see you. Uh, oh, one minute, my dear. Oh, this is a nice woman, see? What? Hello. How do you like it? Very oh. nice. Yes? Yes. It's very nice, see? Very nice. I, lo I love you very much. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, she, she loves you very much. Sorry, come here, come here. She, she wants uh, to ask you. She wants to ask you, uh, what is your name? Hardeep. Oh, one, one time, please. Hardeep. 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 Hardeep? Yes. Is it right? Yes. Hardeep. Yes. But uh, I'm Helen and uh, she is... Uh, Running away. <laughs> Despite their warmth and enthusiasm, I'm frustrated. I'm struggling to see how playing with plasticine and gently fingering through a dictionary will lead me to goals. If you look, if you look at exhaustion... Yeah. Yeah. It's... Uh, it's a, a state of extremely physical or mental tiredness or collapse. Do you know what? I know what exhaustion is. I don't need to look in the dictionary. Okay, then show him exhausted. Show him exhausted and show well, he's exhausted. why he becomes well, exhausted. To me, he's exhausted because he's doing this at you work what, and this at home. Do me a favor. Well, I'm not doing it again. Put something there that shows that this that? is what you... But look, it's exactly the same. I don't need to show it if it's there. See, I don't even see he's exhausted. I see he's confused. Okay, here's exhaustion with clay. Look at me, exhausted. I see. All right, well, we're in the limb pass, aren't we? Not really. We'll just move on. Mm -hmm. We'll just move on. Nah, I can't really move on, mate. Not till we get this done. This is ridiculous. I understand the concept perfectly. Sorry, this is just really fucking me off. Fucking, it's ridiculous. It's, is it not clear? It wasn't clear to you? Oh, fuck off. I don't think I appreciate you being nice to me either, okay? Communication? Affinity. Oh, affinity. Reality, communication. Let me look for myself. Oh, sorry, sorry, no, no, sorry. No, it's quite okay. It's sorry. Quite okay. I did a claymation of dogs fucking. I mean, <laughs> dog sniffing horses and dogs fucking. I'm an intelligent man with a degree in law. To be honest, I think I've got a slight problem with authority. I don't really like being told what to do. He was patient with me and encouraging and was really diligent actually you know he's very sweet and I think he's you know he's putting up with me when perhaps less patient people wouldn't put up with me I don't think I've been that bad though have I? Have I? Every night at the camp there was a small ceremony to recognise people's achievements And afterwards, in the finest Russian tradition, a debate about life and God of a strong black tea. It's more understanding and knowing rather than belief in something. But do you I... believe in God? No. I know that God is. Scientologists believe they're eternal spirits, but defining God is left to the individual. This morning, I'm out of the classroom and into the practicals. This exercise is an adaptation of Zen meditation and it also teaches you how not to fidget during auditing. I only managed half an hour, whereas these people have been sitting here for the past three days. To better understand my own auditing, today I start auditor training. An auditor is not allowed to react to anything that the other person might say, as a reaction by the auditor might induce a false reading on the e-meter. Basically, the object of this drill is to get a rise out of your opponent. 
In this role play, one of you pretends to be an auditor and the other an auditee. If I say that's it, that's the end of the drill. Or if I say flunk, that's the end of the drill. Ready? Start. I'll tell you a little secret. It's just between you and me, yeah. But ever since the first day that we actually started working together, I wanted to kiss you. Hey, I, I just want to make a point here, yeah? You know people talk about brainwashing? I've got you brainwashed, mate. The world is going to see how deep has been brainwashed. There's not going to be another job for you ever again. You're really English, aren't you? Through and through. From the nation of England. No? Okay, all right. That's it. That's it. That's Don't it. you ever fucking talk to me like that? Again? <laughs> what? How'd you go in? You know, so I can abuse you and you won't flinch, you won't react. I, you know, to be honest, I'm sure, I, you know, I've, I'm sure you could probably find some things in me. Okay, we'll start. What are you doing hanging out with a loser like me that you want to kiss? I mean, are you in touch with yourself? Do you know who you are? Because, I mean, you seem a bit lost to me in life. You know, how old are you? What, 35, 36? Where are you at? What are you doing? What have you achieved? You want to be me, don't you? And you hope that if you're inside me, you're a erect cock inside me. It's not that big your cock, though, is it? Actually, a German is probably enormous. <laughs> Flunk. <laughs> I think inside you, there's a gay man trapped inside a slightly overweight <laughs> flunk. <laughs> your shit. A big bear of a man. I'll be your bear tonight. Don't you be your bear? Oh, on a chain, dancing around the fire. Oh. No? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bonding with my supervisor. <laughs> I remembered something Dom said to me on the train to Moscow. He said, if it's not fun, it's not Scientology. I started to understand. In the next drill, the person being tested had to make sure his question, do birds fly or do fish swim, is answered without being put off. Return? Return to the auditing question. question. Do birds fly? Did you say return or repeat? I'll repeat the auditing question. I thought do I heard fly? return. Do birds fly? Yeah, birds fly. Great. Great. Next, it was Dom's turn and my frustration from the plasticine had found a natural outlet. We'll get through it in the end. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Do birds fly? Fuck off. I repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? Fuck off. I repeat the auditing command. Do birds fly? It's question, not command, you numbskull. Do fish swim? Yeah. Thank you. Do fish swim? Yeah. Thank you. Do fish swim? I didn't say yes. Oh, Flunk. Okay. I've already given you an answer. Why do you need to keep asking me the question? It's just the way the process works, mate. I'm not your mate, okay? No props. I'll repeat the auditing question. Yeah. Do birds fly? I don't know. Do they fly or do we move? Do you know what I mean? They could just be still in the air when we do Do birds fly? What's flying? That's the question. Good question. Let's look it up in the dictionary. What? Here, flying. Does it clarify for you? Great. Great. I'll repeat the auditing question. Do birds fly? What's a dictionary? Good question. Is dictionary in the dictionary? I think it is. And what's another word for thesaurus? You know what? What? I repeat the auditing question. Do birds fish? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, see, that's quite hypnotic. That's quite hypnotic. See, if there's ever any accusation that Scientology is about brainwashing, it comes from that, I think. From this drill. Repeat, 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 repeat. Except, people may think what you're asking is you want... You're not actually interested in the answer. No. Are you? Not really. You're not, are you? You no. just want to know, did I answer it? Yes. Or am I just fucking around? I don't quite understand what I'm doing here. I'm communicating this to you. What was the line? What did you say? So you did, old fellow. 
You read it, you make it your own, one cycle, then you give it to me. Just deliver it. Okay. From you, the being, straight to me. Well then, if you don't know what Uglify is, you are a simpleton. The more fun I had, the more I learned, and the farcical drill started to make sense. They're ultimately designed to enable you to ask a clear question, get an answer, any answer, without reacting. This is a key auditing skill. You can't remember what things? Thank you. Okay. We beg your acceptance of this elegant thimble. No, that's it. It's not really appropriate, that one. Okay, try again. I yeah. What are you doing out here? Okay. What are you doing out here? Yeah? What are you doing out here? Nothing. <laughs> that's it. You're great, actually. Tier 3 is a pass. It's great. Do you want to do me? Mm, well, later. <laughs> Let's finish <laughs> Am I not ready to be audited? You're pretty ready to be audited. Don't audit me then. I'm not your auditor. And you know it. Seriously, why wouldn't you audit me? Because, listen, what would happen if I'd audit you? Number one, I have a personal rule for myself. Yeah. Which is I only audit people that I truly feel that I can help. You don't think I'd be honest in an audit room, do you? I don't think it would work. And do you that's why. Me? Generally, I believe you, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I would be here to Okay, listen, enough with the turban fucking <laughs> molestation, man. I'm just trying to get my clothes off. Do you know what I can see? I can see some happy, spiritually aware, confident, loving, giving people. That's what I can see. And I can understand how giving people tools to deal with this life, giving people precision, giving people some sort of way of working out their problems that's rooted in a reality, improves the quality of their life. Day three, and I woke to a sunny morning feeling surprisingly invigorated. The penny was starting to drop. It's been a long time since so much information has made so much sense in so short a period of time. In the tone scale drill, we act at various levels of human emotion, from euphoric to dead. Understanding the levels in between makes you a better communicator. It's no use trying to talk to an angry person by being deliriously happy. Okay, do you know I might flunk you there? Okay. Because. <laughs> You're really depressing me. Flunk, you look postcoital. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get into my fucking face. Fuck. You got it? Yeah. Fuck you. Twice. Twice. Okay, square. Three times. Whatever number you think of bigger. Do, do it yourself. Plus one. Plus one. Plus one. Do plus look one, bothered. Plus one. Plus one. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it now, okay? You're too good at that. No, but I tell you why. Because the book is so well written. You get it. You get it. You should read it honestly. Sit down, you're reading it in a rushed way now. Sit down and read it and the tone scale, you see it. It changes the way, the way I'm gonna bring up my children's gonna change now. I'm scared that I'm walking down this boulevard of knowledge where everything makes sense. The windows are painted white and you know, the sky is blue and the trees are green. And I'm just scared, the minute I go, I completely accept all this, you take a left turn down bizarre. You know? I found myself believing so much of what I've learned that I'm running out of difficult questions to ask you. I'm interested to know about this. Yes. Stuff that perhaps you're not so keen to talk about, if I can be blunt with you. There is talk about sort of spaceships and aliens and all this sort of thing associated with LRH. 
LRH sometimes speaks about aliens. He speaks about some, that there has been races around, that uh, things were going on and there have been uh, techniques we don't know here on planet Earth. He certainly speaks about that. Max tactfully avoided the question, and with good reason. The ET issue in Scientology is essentially the Genesis chapter of its scriptures and is considered sacred. If I choose to continue with my studies, I would eventually receive this knowledge, but not before. Funny how we buy angels and demons, all right, but not aliens. And aliens actually would make more sense. The first step towards this knowledge is my next step in Scientology, the auditing session. What am I scared about at the audit? What are the, what are the parameters of the audit? What do they need to know? I don't know. It's never been seen before. It's almost like I don't want the audit to be filmed. Massively unhelpful answer. I'm returning to the UK to undergo the ritual I've been training for, auditing. Will I feel cleansed or will I feel brainwashed? After much soul searching and much deliberation, I finally agreed to allow cameras to film this most personal of experiences. This is the moment I've been approaching with equal parts of curiosity and dread for the past two weeks, auditing. The significance of all the drills in Moscow should now become clear. I'm told this could take anywhere between 20 minutes and five hours. I'm to relax, concentrate and above all not judge or analyse the process as this will nullify its effectiveness. Because of the personal nature of auditing, I've asked the crew to set up the cameras and leave the room. Tell you to squeeze cans, give me like a gradual increase of pressure and a light squeeze and chief and then relax it. Great. Take a deep breath in and let it out to your mouth. Okay, you're not tired, yeah? No. No. Is there any reason not to start session? No. Good. This is the session. Alright. What is the definition of the word time? The past. What's the definition of the word a? Uh? Letter A. The um, indefinite article. That's fine. And uh, what's the definition of the word recall? To remember. Great. All right, our next command goes like this. Recall a time. Uh, my wedding day. Thank you. Recall a time. My school. The street outside my school, Hill Street in Glasgow. Being a baby, uh, holding a balloon. Great. What's the definition of the word communication? To impart an idea that's acknowledged. Recall a communication. My dad saying, um, I was the cleverest of his sons, but I just never bothered to apply myself. Got it. What does confront mean? Uh, to face head on. And the word to, T-O? Towards, facing. And what is the definition of the word like? Like to have affinity for. Good. What would you like to confront? Um, Tottenham fans.
What would you like to confront? I'd like to confront the dysfunctionality I have with my elder brother. Good. I want to do something with you. Okay. I want to take up that sadness yeah. uh, on your brother. Okay. I just want to assess it and check it out with you. All right. Let me let me just do this here. Was that a break in affinity, reality, communication, understanding? All right. I have it as a break in communication. I'd like to be a better brother. Maybe this low-level dysfunctionality. Because when we look at each other, we know. I think we know exactly what's going on and he knows he can never say anything about it because once he gives oxygen to his thoughts he'll start thinking about them while thoughts are merely in your head you can hide them in dark corners the minute you hear your voice say them it gives them a credibility and a weight a mass so you know we'll bumble along got it how's it seem now better Okay. I feel physically lighter. I'm guessing my needle's floating. It is indeed. Hey. It's a bit lightheaded. Ooh. Sometimes occurs. Okay. End of session. Absolutely terrific. I wouldn't have expected, I couldn't have expected anything more and be quite delighted with it, to be honest. That was it. That's the great auditing mystery. Can you see now what they were teaching in Moscow? I needed to understand every word in each question. First, let me go through the words. What does confront mean? We well, need a dictionary. Always get any word or phrase you do not fully understand defined. If you look at exhaustion... Yeah. Each question needed to be asked in exactly the same way. We call it communication. Do birds fly? Why don't you know whether birds fly or not? Recall a communication. They Are fly, you? okay. Thank you. You're not actually interested in the answer. <laughs> Are you? Not really. The only reaction that interests the auditor is the e-meter. What would you like to confront? Tottenham fans. Okay. So here I am at the end of this journey, the most unique of journeys. And what do I think? Well. Everyone I met claimed that this religion helped them to be at peace with themselves, which in turn led to their own spiritual enlightenment. The big question is this. Did I get God through the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard? Well, in two weeks, that's a tall order for any religion. At the very least, what I have experienced is that Scientology does improve people's lives, real people's lives. Will I carry on with my study of Scientology? Do you know what? I've no idea. Scientology is still a dirty word. What is the definition of the word time? Recall a time. Recall a communication. What would you like to confront? Was that a break in affinity? Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs>